Hello, y'all. This is ML Caster with the Redneck Renegade Radio Show. I'm coming to you again once again today because I have to share this message with you. It's one of warning, one of dire warning. And I'm hoping that this video will get into the hands of those who are truly at an impasse in their decision of whether or not they're going to be taking this foreign matter into their body or not. You can help them. I hope this reaches you, and I hope this reaches all the family and loved ones that you truly care about. Share this far and wide, because people really need to know what is going into their bodies and how this is going to truly change and alter their DNA and affect them. See, for so long we've been dependent upon the government, the deep state, which all control our media, to tell us what's good for us and what's, what's not going to harm us. But these are all lies. Each and every day, more proof is coming out exposing really what this is all about. And this is just another piece of that puzzle that I'm trying to share with you all because I love you and I'm begging you and I'm asking you, please, please reconsider getting this foreign matter put into your body. Do your due diligence. Don't take my word for it. Do your own research. Find out for yourself. But please, I am asking you, Take a step back, gather your thoughts, pray, and ask Heavenly Father for some direction, some discernment. Because if you make the fatal decision of putting this foreign product into your body, God help you. God help your soul. So here we go. Hydrogel. We've all heard that term many, many times throughout the months, right? Well, this was a DARPA invention. It's a chip resembling a soft contact lens made from graphene oxide. It's the smallest and strongest and best conductor of electricity known to man. Graphene oxide hydrogel has the conductivity to connect with smart devices like the cloud and AI. This measures only one atom. Graphene oxide is the primary element of hydrogel. Each dose of the Vaseline or Valvoline contains trillions of self-replicating nanobots contained with the graphene oxide hydrogel, having the ability to disassemble or reassemble. The Luciferian elite are attempting to systematically change man's DNA by enabling nanobots to merge human and synthetic DNA, creating a unique iron and clay hybrid capable of interfacing with AI. The function of the nanobots contained within the graphene oxide hydrogel are to cleave to and then penetrate the unsuspecting cells. A process repeated trillions of times, as each cell contained within every organ in the body are captured by the nanobots. At some unknown point, the human transforms into a hybrid of flesh and metal. Graphene oxide hydrogel also has the ability to heal wounds instantaneously. Perhaps this is a precursor to Revelation chapter 13, verse 3, where it says, And one of the heads of the beast seemed to have had a fatal wound, but the fatal wound had been healed. The whole world was filled with wonder and followed the beast. Part of the human to hybrid transition involves the nanobots form in a swarm as they migrate to the brain, ultimately taking up residence in every crack and crevice. Nanobots harvest moisture from <clears throat> the body and use it as an agent to grow. Eventually, the original biological part of what makes us human begins to wither and die. From human death will arise a hybrid birth. Spions, S-P-I-O-N-S, is an acronym for super, super paramagnetic iron oxide nanoparticles. This facilitates the process of cell penetration. Utilizing magnetification, spions are enabled to possess a magnetic charge, allowing them to transport the synthetic spike proteins into the cells. Magnetification exploits magnetic force exerted upon gene vectors associated with magnetic particles to draw the vectors towards, possibly even to, the targeted cells. In this manner, the full vector dose applied gets concentrated on the cells, 
within a few minutes so that 100% of the cells get in contact with a significant vector dose. When applied to the valvoline operating system, magnetism becomes the invisible force used to crack open the cells to deliver the vector, which is the spike proteins. Without magnetism, the spike proteins couldn't penetrate every cell in the body. Think of magnetism as the engine driving the spike proteins into the cells. According to investigator Jim Stone, it appears that the nanobots are harvesting the hemoglobin, which is a type of iron oxide, from the blood in order to construct something. This is quite possible since graphene oxide magnetic hydrogel is composed of iron oxide particles. Folks, this is very, very alarming. I know many people that have made this choice to put this into their bodies, many of which did it based off of a religious leader or religious figureheads telling them to do this, that it's good for them, that they're a good global citizen by doing this part. Many of you are making this choice and decision or facing it because you're having to, because of the place in which you work at, are forcing you to do this. I'm telling you, do your own research. Please do your own research. You're going to find out that what you're about ready to do in making this choice and decision not only has temporal life-altering consequences, but it could very well have eternal ramifications on your soul. I love you, and this is why I'm sharing this message with you. Please, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of this week, y'all, and I know you can help me in getting this done. I appreciate you all so much for your support, watching my videos, and I'm trying to get back with all those comments to answer to you. I love you very much. Again, please share this far and wide. God bless.